everybody. Welcome to another Wednesday workout. I know we missed last week's live, but I'm back here again for you this week. Um, hope you are ready to go. This one is going to be a little bit intense, but it's going to be short, uh, sweet, and effective. Um, please make sure you invite anybody um, that you think might have uh, or be up for a good workout today to join us. The more the merrier. You don't need any equipment, but do make sure that you have some water. I'll be giving some beginner options as we go through. And we're just going to start with a nice warm up and get right into it. So thank you to everybody who's tuning in. Sorry for the angle being a little bit off today, uh, but this is the best we're going to get for the day. <laughs> so let's get warmed up. We're going to start with some reaches across. Nice big stretch. I'm going to try to get the whole body warmed up. Taking that reach way up now. Two. And thank you for everybody who is tuning in here. Hope you're ready for a good one. We're gonna hit everywhere. Now going into our squats. Inhale, coming down, exhale as you come up. Keep it nice and smooth. Just getting everything nice and warm, loosening up the joints, getting the blood flowing. Keep that chest up and heels down as we do our squats here. One more. All right, hand curls. Try and get the arms involved. Keep moving. Nice and easy, just getting warm. Okay, let's go through that one more time. Reaches across. Nice big stretch. taking that reach up now. If you have any comments or questions at any time, please feel free to drop them in the comments there and I'll get back to you as soon as we're done. Okay, moving into our squats now. Reach and pull. Exhale as we come up. Four more. Feel free to slow this down a little bit if you need to. All right, have curls. Good. Hopefully, we're feeling a little bit warm now. I'm going to grow a quick sip of water. We have four um, different Tabata circuits for today. So Tabata training, we've got 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. It's a total of eight rounds. So the way we're going to work this today, there's going to be two exercises. We're going to alternate between the two of them. I will start off the first round with a little bit more of a beginner option, and then we're going to progress as we go. Um, it's going to be four rounds total of each exercise for a total of four different circuits today. You're gonna need water. <laughs> so our first two are gonna be a squat jump or a sit through. As I said, I'm going to start with your beginner options. So first round, we're not gonna jump. We're just gonna keep it low. If you're ready to go right into those jumps, go ahead. So we've got the timer here set for 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. You want to go as hard as you can during that 20 seconds. If it feels too easy without the jump, add the jump, okay? You want to be catching your breath during our 10 seconds. So starting with squats, look straight ahead. We're going to try to speed these up a little more than the warm up at least. Here we go, down and up. Nice tight squeeze. So this would be your beginner version trying to push that speed. 
Tight squeeze to the top. Keep it low impact for this round only. All right, that was 20 seconds. Taking it down now. Instead of the sit-throughs, easier version is going to be a plank with kick under. So hands under your shoulders. Come to plank. Kick under one side and the other. Try to keep your hips low. You can stick with this for the duration of the circuit if that's where you need to be. Kick under, core strong. Shoulders right above the wrist, that's it, that was round one. All right, kicking it up a notch, let's add those jumps. Land softly, look straight ahead, 20 seconds, here we go. Exhale up. Landing soft. Go ahead and go low impact if you need to. Push if you can. You can even alternate between one jump and one squat. That was 20 seconds. Short and sweet. Take it down. Sit throughs. Start in a crouch. Okay? Left the knees. Kick under. One side, the other. Start slow. Trying to kick that foot right up. You can always go back to the plank if you need to. And up. Ready for round three. Jump if you can. That heart rate should be going by now. All right, let's go. Exhale up. Land soft. Keep pushing through. Good work. Take it down. So either do the plank with the kick under. Sit through if we can. Hands under the shoulders. Core strong. Let's go. Try to kick that foot right up. You're lifting one hand. Kick it under. Nice rotation here. And back up. We have one more round. I'm gonna come into our squat jumps. Last time. Let's go. Push. Push that speed. Right through. Try to look straight ahead. Land soft. Good. A little rest. Take it down. Once more for the sit throughs. Nice and strong. Ready? Here we go. Keep working. Keep going. All right. Bring it up. Keep moving. Take a rest. Catch your breath a little bit. One down, three to go. Our next exercise is going to be a lunge and a hop, or just a lunge with a knee. So for our first round, we're going to do a lunge with a knee. If you are a beginner, just reduce the range of your lunge. You can keep it fairly small, even just a touch back. A knee lift. If that's enough for you, go ahead and stay there. If you can, we'll still go low impact on the first round and I'll pick it up on the second. We want to keep the feet shoulder width apart, looking straight ahead. Get ready. And let's go. Step back, knee up. Exhale as you drive the knee. Look straight ahead. This is your low impact option. Remember, you're trying to push as fast as you can. That's it for that leg. We're going to switch sides. 
Feet shoulder width to start. Shoulders back and down. Look straight ahead. Other side. Here we go. Right in. Down. And knee. Exhale as you drive the knee up. We're looking straight ahead. Keep working through. Little rest. Three more times on each leg. We're going to add the hop in this time if you can. If you need to keep it low impact, totally fine. Do what you can. Here we go. Down, pop it up if we can. Exhale up. Look straight ahead. Keep that chest lifted. Front heel is down while you lunge. Little rest. I'm gonna get ready on the other side. Hope you're feeling good. All right, let's go. Other side. Down. Hop if you can. Keep it up. Exhale up. Little rest. We got two more times each leg. Great for your quads. Take it low impact if you need to at any point. Round three, let's go. Hop if you can, low impact if you need it. Try to push your speed a little. Little rest. And get ready on the other side. Down and up. Little rest. Once more on each leg. Then we'll take a little break. Let's go. Go for height if you can. Working through. Nice and low with the lunge and all the way up. Little rest. One last time on the other side. Push that speed a little. This is the last time for this exercise. All right, rest. That was four rounds each leg. Take a little break. <laughs> Grab a drink. We're moving on. Next, we're going to be down on the floor. We're going to do mountain climbers or, uh, or sorry, and crab toe touches. So for the first round, um, we'll go nice and slow. If you had to, if you needed to make the mountain climbers easier, what you'd want you to do is grab yourself a chair, ideally something sturdy, and you could use that to add a little bit of elevation. So let's do our first round here. And uh, first round of the crab toe touches, we're actually going to do a bridge with a kick out with the head down, which is easier on your wrists. So level one for our first round, starting with the climbers. If you want to push harder, take yourself to the floor. Ready? Let's go. Drive the knees, shoulders stay over top of your wrists. Try to go fast. One, two, one, two, keep it up. Right through it. That was 20, take it down. So, easier, grab toe touches are from this position, but easier, bring your head down, lift the hips, you're just gonna kick 
and reach for the knee. If that's still too much, just lift the knee. Again, we're trying to push for a little bit of speed here. Breathe through it. All right, take it down. Back to climbers. We're going more advanced this time. Still, shoulders right over top of the wrists. Core strong, keep your hips low. We're gonna drive the knees to the center. One, two, one, two, let's go. You could also land if you prefer. This is harder on the quads. A little easier on your core, maybe. I don't know. Six of one, half a dozen of another. Keep going. Come down. Ready for crab toe touches. So this time, coming up on the hands, point your pinkies towards you. Lift the hips. We're gonna reach. Easier reach for the knee. If you can, reach for your toe. Try to keep the hips up. All the way through, let's go. And down. Ready for climbers, we've got two more rounds to go. Keep it going. If you have to slow down, go ahead. Try not to stop. Let's go. One, two, one, two, or land at your call. Nice and strong. Keep breathing. Keep working through. And down, flip it over. Crab toe touch next. Hands behind, hips up. Here we go. One and the other. Pushing through it. Keep breathing. And down. One more time. Flip it over. Ready for those climbers. Last round. Nice and strong. I'm going to try landing this time. Let's go. If you're landing, maybe a little bit of a twist there. Still keep the shoulders over the wrists as best you can. And down, flip it over. Ready for those crab toe touches. And hips up. Here we go. Toe if you can. Knee if you need to. Keep moving. If your wrists are tired, you can come down and keep the head down if you need. Otherwise, push through. Good. Rest. <laughs> All right. We have one more. Grab a sip of water here, though. Catch your breath a little bit. We have one last tap of the circuit to go. We're going to do our dive bobber push ups. And then Superman's with the reach and retract. I'm going to grab a sip of water here first, though. All right, and I'm going to move this chair back out of the way. So, with the dive bobber push ups, again, it is a fairly advanced move. So, I will give you a beginner option for beginners with those dive bombers. What I want you to try is popping up way into a down dog and then you're going to drop to the knees and bring yourself through. And then press back, pop it up, drop it down, bring it through. If you have any shoulder issues at all or if that causes you any pain, I want you to try to just go for your regular push-up. So it would be regular push-up to down dog, okay? Um, those are gonna be your options. So uh, let's start with that one. We'll do our regular push-up to down dog. Second round, we'll go into the dive bomber. Superman's pretty easy. I'm sure you'll catch up with me on that one. So getting ready. 
Hands are slightly wider than shoulder width. This is your beginner option for the dive bombers. It's just a regular push up to down dog. So here we go, push up, down dog. Drop the knees, push up, down dog. Keep going. All right, if that was hard enough for you, stick with that next time, that's totally fine. Down to your stomach, arms out in front, Superman, reach and retract. Easier, you're gonna lift, squeeze, reach, and down. Lift, squeeze, reach, and down. Make sure we're lifting through the legs, keeping that neck neutral. Looking towards the floor. Neck is neutral, in case you didn't hear me say that into the carpet there. <laughs> All right, going for round two, we're gonna kick this up a notch. There is your more advanced version. Starting with your hands wide, feet can be wide as well. Bringing the chest down and through, back down and through. Again, down and through, down and through. Keep it strong. This is a hard one. Good work, take it down. Superman reach and retract, this time we are holding the lift. So neck is neutral. Full extension, lift it up, exhale, squeeze, inhale, reach. Tight legs, tight core, keep that neck neutral. Nice and strong. Good work, we've got two rounds to go. Coming back into the dive bombers, adjust as needed. Let's go. Pull through and up if you can. Back to your down dog. Again, if that doesn't feel good, you can go for your regular push up to down dog. Okay. Right down to the stomach. Superman, reach and retract. Lift and hold if you can. Reach and pull. Strong legs. Squeeze tight as you pull the arms back. Good work. Just one more round. Okay, last time, maximum effort. Ready? Let's go. Down and through. Down and back. Down and through. Down and back. Good work. Take it down. One more Superman and then we're going to stretch it out. Here we go. Lift. Squeeze and reach. Squeeze and reach. Keep it strong. Tight legs. If you need to come down, go for it, but come right back. We're almost there. And rest. Press yourself right into child's pose here. We're gonna go right <laughs> into our stretches. So, bring it down, reach the hands forward, relax your head down, and breathe. Try to walk your fingertips a little bit further forward and then almost pull against to get a nice deep stretch. Through the shoulders, into your back. Good. From there, up to hands and knees, we're going to go into cat stretch, round out, look between the knees. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, round it out. Looking up. 
Once more, we'll round it out and we're gonna roll right up to the knees. Bring one foot forward, tuck those hips under. You wanna press the hips forward so we're feeling this stretch in the top of that bottom leg. Open up the arms, pull the shoulders down, take your hands wide. Release, straighten the front leg, hips press back and lean forward. Be gentle with this one. We only want a slight tension all up the back of the leg. If you like, you can tip your toe up and reach and pull to get a little bit deeper into the calf. If you enjoyed this workout, I encourage you to share it with your friends. Please tag anybody you think might be interested in it. Um, and also, I've got a brand new challenge starting up next week. If you haven't seen that info, I will post that for you below here as well. I've still got a couple spots left. So you'll get live workouts just like this one. Some gratitude practice, accountability, lots more good stuff in there. If you enjoyed this workout, I highly recommend checking it out. Release that, straighten your front leg, hips back, leading down. This is a little harder than we're starting with on that six week challenge, so. Okay, tip the toe up. Good, now coming up to a wide stance, forward fold, relax the head and neck. Heel toe your feet in and slowly rolling it up to the top. Good, let's get those quads. We're gonna grab one foot. Squeeze the knees together. If you need to hold on to something for balance, you can always do that. And take that around. Trying to get that heart rate to come down a little bit here now. And bring it up. Other side, we're going to go quads. Good. And around to the front. Sit down. Picking it up. We'll do the shoulders, one arm across. Switch it out to the other side. Good, and the neck to finish us off, press down. Lean to one side, little assist if you like. to center, other side, press it down, lean away. And again to center, nice big reach right up to the top. Press it up. And that will do it for today. I hope you had an excellent workout. Again, if there's any comments or questions, please feel free to drop them below. And I hope you have an amazing evening. I'll see you again next week. Bye.